What is up, YouTube? HTJ here, and I'm coming at you guys because we're going to be taking a nice look at two new additions to Dragoonity's. Uh, we have Dragoonity Drive uh, Structure Deck information with two new additional monsters. Uh, an upgrade, well, actually variations of some wreath of some famous Dragoonity monsters. So let's actually take a look at it. The first one up is Dragoonity Lactus. This is a level 4 wind attribute, wingy beast type monster, 1800 attack, 1200 events. You only use this card's names first and second effect once per turn each. You can control a Dragoonity monster or Dragon Ravine. You can set some this card from your hand. If you control a Dragoonity Dragon if you need monster card or cards in your spell trap card zone, you can target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. Then the next new monster is Dragoonity Remus. Uh, this is a level 2 wind attribute dragon tuner monster with, with 800, 800 attack in defense. And its effect reads, you can only use this card's names first and second effect once per turn each. You cannot use cannot be used as synchro material except for the synchro summon of a dragon D monster. You can discard this card from your hand and add one dragon ravine from your deck to your hand. You if you control a dragon D monster, you can just summon this card from a graveyard but banish it when it leaves the field. Also, you can't just summon monsters from your extra deck ex for the rest of the turn except for dragon monsters. So these are two new additions and then the uh reprints coming are you're going to need Arms Leviathan, you're going to need Arms Mistletane, you're going to need Ackley's, uh, you're going to need Divine Lance, you're going to need Knight Barca, you're going to need Knight Gay Dirk, you're going to need Knight Vadriana, and your Dragon's Ravine. So, let's take a look at the two new additions. So, uh, first up is you're going to need Lactus. This is basically an enhanced version of Dragoonity Legionnaire. Uh, the fact that it's able to summon itself from the hand, uh, either if you control a Dragoonity monster or Dragon's Ravine, which gives this card um, some combo extending right there off the bat. Then its next ability is that if you control Dragoonity monsters in your solid trap cards only, you can target a solid trap on the field and destroy it. So you get some back row destruction. Now the difference between this monster and Dragon and Dragoonity Levi I mean Legionnaire is that Legionnaire was a hard normal summon. Then when it was summoned, equip the monster in your Adrenity uh, tuner from your graveyard to itself. And then once a turn, it had the ability to detach your material from it. I mean, detach any Adrenity equip spell that was attached to it to destroy a spell or trap card on the field. This kind of speeds up the process a bit because you can just use it if there's any other Dragoonity that has Dragoonity cards attached to it. So you can do stuff like summon this card while you have Ravine, normal summon, I don't know, Dragoonity Ducks, uh, equip Ducks with Ackley's. Ackley's will trigger, well you can trigger Ackley's effect off of this card's effect because Ackley's effect um, will trigger when it's sent to graveyard by a card effect. Uh, so that's even more clearance there. They're both level 4, you can exceed or link into some monsters there, find some ways to get some other Dragoonity monsters onto the board too. There's a lot of plays you can think of when it comes to this. There's a lot of combinations of rank 4 setup um, easily you can play on this. And that new monster, Cockatarius, I can see some some weird plays with this because this is all it needs to do is say it's a Dragoonity monster and then special summon. Damn. Not to mention, you can touch some of this card off of Dragon's Ravine, and that's rare that any Dragoonity monster working itself with Dragon's Ravine, because before, you had to search with Terraforming for Dragon's Ravine, or use cards like Ancient Fairy Dragon to help you speed up the process to get to Dragon's Ravine. Now you're just cutting the middleman and just saying, alright, here we go, bam. You get a free monster summon off of Dragon's Ravine, in conjunction with anything you're sending to the graveyard, or adding it to your hand with Dragon Ravine's effect. Speaking of Dragon Ravine, Dragonity Ramus. This monster has a weird, actually reminds you of Ramulus, the Link monster uh, that the Dragonities have. Or maybe there's going to be another, or maybe that Synchro monster that they have. Uh, the newer Synchro monster, similar design to it as well. But this monster can discard itself to search for Dragon's Ravine. There's no Dragonity that does that, as far as I'm aware of. And... I think Ramulus does it, but Ramulus has to do it off of the condition. This, uh, with corresponding to other monsters. This is just doing it off of pretty much a field spell searcher, which it's been, there's a lot of field spell searchers, and this is now just another one added 
itself to the game. Not to mention, this is a tuner, and Dragoonities love their tuners. So you have some plays with this monster as well in the graveyard. And if you don't special summon it off of its own effect, you can summon this off of cards like ducks, and then, you know, have some, you can attach it to ducks, and ducks can have some combo plays there. Um, if you control Dragoonity monster, you summon this card from your graveyard, but banish it with the field, that's perfectly fine, because they're most of the time, you're just going to use this as a tuner if you do decide to play it. Um, and then it does lock you into dragons for the rest of the turn that are coming out of your extra deck. That's not a downside, because let's be honest. S tier monsters from the extra deck tend to be a dragon. If they're not dragon, there's some weird form of spellcaster. And those tend to be some of the most broken ones in the extra deck at the point. At point. So. With their large amount of extra deck support, the generic dragon support that's here and there, you will probably not be hurt by this monster's effect if you do choose to summon it uh, through its own ability. And just the fact that it's another level 2 tuner just, just adds up to the list of tuners they have that have some easy access to being literally played with such ease. Uh, let's talk about the reprints. We have the reprints of two of the additional dragon monsters. First of all, let's talk about this. Dragonity Arms Leviathan is a beast of a monster. This this was the cover deck, the cover monster of the previous structure deck. Um, my thoughts on this honestly is that it's a nice reprint. The newer one is a little better, but reprints of cars just have them happen. That's all. Um. Still an A-plus monster, if you still decide to run it or not, I doubt it, because the newer edition is better, but they just want to at least say, hey, look, this is the old dragon monster, here's an upgraded version of him. Same thing with Missile Tank. There, there's nothing bad about them, they just, if you want that extra oomph of Synchro Summoning, these are what the two are here for. Because you can attach cards like Phalanx to this monster, or failing to this monster, or active, and stuff like that, and then use their abilities to help you scale up or synchro up. Uh, primarily, you want to use this with both um, Ramis or Phalanx, because those are the ones that have the abilities to put themselves back onto the board. They can both attach them to each other, and I do think there's some more abilities. I know, yeah, Leviathan has his own abilities when he has other dragons attached to him. I don't know if the LADD combo still works with him. Maybe, maybe not. But, you know, if it does, it does. Or it doesn't, it doesn't. But it's just, you know, hey, some more ideas. And some more combo sets. Um, Speaking of Ackles, Ackles is here. And that's just more destruction on top of... It's removal with destruction effect on top of removal. Which is not too bad. Um, get this going with uh, lag Lagdus and... Agatis and hey, combo pieces. Um, nice reprint of Divine Lance. With Lance at that point just helps you flesh out stuff. Um, so it's a lot of combo there for more combo pieces. Barka's Barka. I think Barka's probably just here because of the equipped ability. And then just the fact that you can de equip those um uh, extra those tuners from it to get some more additional effects off of it. That's practically just 8 the scale up to your 10, and then go from there. Because the level 10 for Dragoonities is a, it's an amazing monster. Um, and then, of course, we have the reprints of Gay Derg and Vajrayana. Gay Derg is just another search and discard, helps set up with the grave. Um, and then also some good plays with Anne, because it's a dragon, and get Lamulus onto the, Lagulus onto the field. Uh, Vajrayana, that extended synchro setup. Uh, scaling up to get to the level 10, and of course the reprint of Dragon's Ravine, which we kind of saw a reprint of Dragon's Ravine coming. I honestly thought they were going to probably reprint a tamer version of Dragon's Ravine, like give them a different field spell, but it treats itself as Dragon's Ravine while it's on the field, or maybe in the graveyard, and it has some more combination, but I think that we don't kind of need that because it probably just finds some usable ways to grow 
should be broken, but we do have a reprint of Dragon Dream. So, let me know what you guys think about the newer dishes um, in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you guys can be informed of when I do upload more content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and HPJ signing out. Take care.